Now, the year is 2012, and like all good love stories, meeting Sarah didn't start off too promisingly. Me, Sean and Martin had booked to go to Snowbox Festival over on the Italian slopes, and being a bit young and silly, we might have had one too many shandies on the transfer over. When Sarah and the group of people she was with first saw us, I think they might have said something along the lines of, let's make sure we avoid them this week. Sarah was over there with a group of physios, and as Martin was also a physio, we used that as our way in and managed to strike up conversation. As the week went on, Sarah and I started chatting more and more, and I was looking forward to finishing skiing each day so we could find the other physios and we could have a couple of drinks together. At the airport, after the flight home, I timidly asked if I could have your number so we could stay in touch when we got back. I also knew how to play it cool back then as well, and I think I texted you about five minutes after we left each other. Back in London, I remember our first date like it was yesterday. We went for pizza outside in Covent Garden, and that's when I realised you were someone very special. Every day you challenge me and inspire me to be a better version of myself. You are ambitious, funny, kind, caring and patient to name just a few. I spent six years calling you my girlfriend, 18 months my fiance, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life calling you my wife. Stunning today. I've got no idea. You look stunning today. I have no idea how I've managed to convince you to marry me. I love you in so many ways and for so many reasons, but mostly because you're the one I can't live without. I can't wait to continue many happy years together, making many more happy memories, and I truly believe the best is yet to come. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, can I please ask you to be upstanding and raise a toast to Sarah, my beautiful wife. We met by pure chance on the top of a mountain, but it turned out to be perfect. As Lily so beautifully read earlier, you are braver than you believe, stronger, stronger than you than seem, you seem and, and smarter than you, than you think. But the most important thing is, even if we're apart, I'll always be with you.